Jade, congratulations on the new single. Uh, how does it feel having a hit song? How does it feel being on a show that is groundbreaking? But more importantly, though, how does it feel? Because when we talk and people learn more about you, you've been somebody who has been working there, you know what, in this business. And finally, the launch is giving you your stage. It feels pretty great, you know. Um, like you said, I've been working pretty hard and think this is also a part of my journey. It's not the end all be all, you know, when it comes to this, but it's the starting of my journey. I'm very happy to be a part of this show. And to be a part of the first season is pretty phenomenal. Being able to work with Scott Bruchetta, Julia Michaels, and Ian Kirkpatrick is definitely surreal to me. So I'm happy with the experience. I need to know a little bit more about you because when you came on to the show, I think a lot of people are feeling the same thing. Confidence, fierce, um, motivation. You knew exactly what you wanted. You knew you were going to go after uh, the prize, and it was like nothing was going to stop you. Where did that come from uh, growing up and, and learning about the business? Well, um, as an independent artist, I always being, you have to learn how to turn things over pretty quickly. You know what I mean? We have to. We have to do a lot of things on our own, right? So my mindset with the song is, or coming in there is just, I wanted to be creative. I wanted to make the record feel like uh, a Jade record rather than a record that was given to me. I needed it, it was important for me to be creative. I'm a, I'm a singer songwriter, you know what I mean? My, my music and writing is important, melodies are important to me. And if I'm feeling it, I, um, I'm sure everybody else would enjoy it as well. I just don't want to be given a song that starts, you know what I mean? It just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't, that's not the way that I, I look at it um, as an artistic point of view, right? Um, in regards to where that comes from, um, just going through the industry and having to learn a lot, making a lot of mistakes, you know what I mean? And sometimes you, um, you, you want to be nice about a lot of things because you don't know. And I've been taught that so you can't be, you have to kind of say what you want in order for you to get what you, you, you deserve, you know what I mean? In order for you to kind of make your stand in the industry, and I um, had to take that stand. And I didn't want to make it seem too aggressive, but I was just really, really focused, and I wanted to be creative with getting the music out and just making it, you know, fun and making it a, a Jade record. That was the thing. You did it in such a, a professional way, but at the same time, too, you commanded respect. And here you are, you got three people in the industry for years on top of their game, and they respected you as if you had been doing it on their game level and you've proven that you can do it on their game level that's a huge compliment that's a huge compliment um coming from ian kirkpatrick being a grammy nominated and has like tons of number one um i went in there with the intention of learning as well right because I've been doing the music i'm like okay well i'm going to be able to have a conversation with these with these um artists and producers I want to kind of you know get, they can nitpick and criticize and whatnot but the feedback was like no go ahead you're good you're good there was nothing that was all for when I wanted to input and change in the hook and let's add this he's like yeah good idea let's do it it was it was amazing it's a huge compliment you know remind the folks the song is called the song is called codes okay so first time you heard codes what was your thought um, I thought it was a well-written song. The words are really, really great. I thought it was very pop, though. It didn't fit me entirely. So um, it was a challenge. It was definitely a challenge. Um, I honestly, I haven't, this is the first time I'm going to say it, but coming from a songwriter's perspective, when I heard they played the, the female version, they played the male version, I was really feeling the male version. So if I was, because um, I'm a songwriter, if I was going to give the song, I would have given it to um, a male vocalist. Right? And I think it was um, originally for a male vocalist to sing. Um, so I enjoy the song that way. I'm just like, ooh, this song really sounds good when, when Ian sings it. But So I had to kind of change that up to make it sound that I can enjoy it as well. The game changer was when you were going to perform the song and they decided to do, let's put in the reggae beat on it. That was a game changer. You, like, I assume you watched it. Did you see how you, you the like the light the light switched for you? You were into the song, but once that part came in, it was like, bam! Here's the star that we've been looking to hear. Well, we spoke about it in the studio because I, I wanted to put a Caribbean feel on the record because it has that little dancehall um, melody in it, and we spoke about having that whole feel on it. So when we went to what a lot of people didn't see from the studio to the rehearsal, we had some kinks to to to, to figure out, right? And um, we performed it. We tried to you know get it right, but it just wasn't feeling right. And then he came on stage and based on a conversation we had, he was able to make a, a few changes and it was just fantastic. It was just amazing. I was gonna say, and I, I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna ask you again, what did it feel like? 
singing the song when it when you were able to make it your own? I guess I keep on saying it feels like home. Like it, it, when I say home, it just it's it was comfortable. You know what I mean? I got to kind of let down my guard and to kind of um, it was a quick growth within that that those minute or, 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 or seconds or so um, and trying to forget that the cameras were around because I'm just like this actually feels good like this record feels good now and it's a little bit slowed down and I can just groove to it it felt like I was on the islands you know what I mean it felt like there was sunshine and I was in LA and and the whole world it just felt really really good there is a sense of I've been noticing with artists that I've been speaking with artists your age and you guys are bringing back this couples dance feel again and i feel like this is what this song is about too it's bringing couples back together whereas for a little while people were just dancing on their own now it's like where where's where's my woman i need to dance with her kind of thing and that's what i feel like with this song too the way you were able to reinterpret it yeah it's um it's it's a sexy kind of sultry record my my vibe is very sexy sultry so with my voice it automatically adds that essence to it and of course so who doesn't you want to dance with somebody you don't want to dance by yourself that's the whole point of music you know what i mean um partnership is definitely important so uh yeah i'm glad that you had that input with it what's the reaction been now with family and friends now that this is all out like how are people reacting to you with this because you know People know you one way, but now they know you a different way. It's true. Um, everybody's been so supportive. Um, my friends and family have seen my journey from way back till now. So it's like, wow, you actually did what you said you were going to do. You know what I mean? And I think a lot of people, not saying that they didn't believe it, but when you tell people you're going to do something, they want to see proof. You know, even if you're doing, you're traveling here and there, but on like an international um, level, like being on a, a TV show, they think like, oh my God, like, Boom, you, you made it. And also the misconception is now is like, oh my God, you're you're rich. Like you're you're good. Like someone called me like, oh, so you're so you're rich now. I'm just like, nah, I'm just getting started. This is where the real work starts. You yeah, know what no, I mean? I saw you come in with the backpack and everything else. So yeah. I'm 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 always in my backpack. All backpack, running shoes, converse. I'm I'm usually chilling. So regardless of but the money or not, I'm I'm usually chilling like that. So what was it like? You were on the social, weren't you? I was. I was on the social. What was that like? You watch the show forever and then here you are now as a major guest. That was so much fun. I didn't get to see my, my, I saw little clips of it, but I didn't get to see the episode yet. But those ladies were amazing. They're just beautiful. And I, I got a chance to talk about um, previous records that I've done and just the, the, the show in general. It was great. And you said you wanted a team. You have a team now. So how is that working together? Because even though we have a major hit right now, it's not just about one song. It's now about a career and other songs. How is now the team looking at you and how are we focusing? Well, everything is still new, right? So it's been just a couple of days, so I still haven't had a chance to meet up with everybody and see Scott is in Nashville and everybody's everywhere. So we're still pretty busy and we have one more, um, one more episode to go. So I think once that episode is done and everybody, you know what I mean, we get, everybody's a little bit more free and, you know, get to kind of woosah a little bit, we can definitely start and collaborate and see where we can take this and move around with the, with the record. Are you ready to be a role model? Because especially in this uh, age where we're talking about strong women, the Me Too movement, women have been standing up, you stood up like nobody's business in the show that we got a chance to see. How does it feel now that you can show people that when you have a dream, no matter how tough things are, dreams can become reality? I think that's extremely important, especially being um, a young woman, a young black woman in the is industry, for other women to, to look up to. That's great. I think sometimes we don't, we don't, we're automatically put into being role models, even though we don't want to or not, because we don't want to kind of fess up to our actions when things are not bad. You know, when things aren't, aren't that great, but it's a huge compliment. I have a lot of um, little ones that look up to me, um, but I do also have songs that are, you know what I mean? Or, or they have profanity and whatnot, because I'm just me and I'm, I'm very passionate about music and I like creating in, um, different genres and different sounds and just to kind of express myself. So my message is to kind of express yourself any way you like to, just be positive about it. As long as you're positive about it and you're going and you have the right mindset and the right intentions, that's all that really matters. So um, in regards to being strong and standing up, it's important for people to, for me to have confidence. And um, I think for me is I'm inspiring myself. And if you inspired by that, that's icing on the cake. But I'm still on the, the road and the journey of being confident because I went through a journey of trying to decide or what should I do? What should I be? What do I want to do? So um, it's great to be in this position to be able to um, be even considered to be a role model.
That's pretty what a, awesome. What a way to celebrate Black History Month, you know? <laughs> I, I absolutely love this. To follow you, where do we go for website, Twitter, all of that stuff? Where do we go now? You can find me on Instagram, J-A-Y-D underscore I-N-K. On Twitter, the same thing, J-A-Y-D underscore I-N-K. Uh, I'm Googleable, J-A-Y-D underscore I or J-A-Y-D I-N-K. So I'm pretty easy to find. I talk to everybody. You're good to go. I love it. Congratulations. Enjoy this journey. And I cannot wait to be talking to you again on a red carpet, new album, awards. The world is yours. Congrats. Thank you so much. I appreciate that.